Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Suthiya from Informatica Global Customer Support. This demo is about data domain creation through export and import feature available in Enterprise Data Catalog version 1041. First, we'll see the agenda for the video. In this session, we are going to discuss about what is data domain and data domain curation, what are the curation tasks that can be performed for a data domain in Enterprise Data Catalog, what is the new feature available for a data domain curation in 10.4.1, how to curate the data domains through export and import option, and the possible curations of data domain to export and import. What is data domain and data domain curation? A data domain is a predefined or user-defined asset that is based on the semantics of column or the field data or a column or field name. Some examples of data domains are social security number, account status, IP address, and UPC code. Assigning a data domain to a column or field makes the asset easier to identify and understand. Data domains are inferred for column and field assets based on the profiles and based on the data domains that are assigned to similar assets. Curation is the process of accepting and rejecting data domains for assets. As you curate data domains for columns and fields, Enterprise Data Catalog becomes more accurate in making data domain inferences for other columns and fields. What are the curation tasks that can be performed for a data domain? You can perform the following curation tasks for a data domain in Enterprise Data Catalog. Accept or reject the inferred assets for the data domain. When you accept an asset, the data domain becomes assigned to the asset. Reject any assigned asset for the data domain. Accept any rejected asset for the data domain. Note that if you accept or reject an inferred asset for a data domain, you cannot set the asset to back the inferred status. You can accept or reject one asset for a data domain or you can accept or reject multiple assets at once. What is the new feature available for data domain curation? Effective in version 10.4.1, you can accept or reject the multiple inferred assets simultaneously. You can export the assets to the comma separated file and import the updated CSV file into the enterprise data catalog. The exported CSV file has inferred, accepted, rejected data domains, column headings as shown in this table. You can edit the columns to accept, reject or delete the assets. You can remove the data domains from the assets by deleting the data domains from the accepted or inferred data domains columns in the exported CSV file. Let's move on to the demo and see how to perform data domain curation through export and import for an oracle column. In catalog, I have opened first name column of employee table from oracle dd resource. Here we can see two auto accepted data domains and one inferred data domain. Export the assets into CSV file either from here or from a resource level. Here, uh, I'll just select data domains and uh, unselect other options. Just refresh the monitoring jobs page and download the CSV file. In the exported CSV file, you can see the data domains first name and alphanumeric special characters are present in accepted field and city data domain is present in inferred field and uh, the rejected field is empty as there is no rejected data domain. 
and my requirement is to reject the inferred data domain so I'll just cut paste here you can see multiple data domains are separated by comma and enclosed by double quotes I have saved the file now we'll import this file into the catalog to import the file open the resource and from here you can use import assets button to import the CSV file click OK just refresh and I'm going back to first name field we'll refresh this field here you can see accept data domains are present and the infer data domain is uh, rejected and this is done by the user Sutia K now we'll see what are the possible curations of data domain through bulk import the first column of the table lists the state of data domains in the exported CSV file. The second column has the operations that can be performed for the data domain state mentioned in the first column. And the third column has the results of the actions after importing CSV file into enterprise data catalog. If the user accepts the inferred data domain or accepts the rejected data domain or directly add a new data domain in the accepted field of csv file the data domain is assigned to the asset if the user rejects the infer data domain or rejects the accepted data domain or delete the auto accepted data domain or directly add a new data domain in the rejected field of csv file the data domain is rejected for the asset if the user deletes the inferred data domain from the csv file no action will be taken and the state of data domain remains same for the asset if the user deletes the user accepted data domain or rejected data domain from the CSV file, it removes the asset that is associated with the data domain. For more information, you can refer to View Assets chapter in the Informatica Enterprise Data Catalog User Guide version 1041. If you have any queries, you can write to support videos at the rate informatica.com or twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.